And with the Republican Party struggling to gain the support of California voters, the state GOP is now laser focused on schools in an attempt to win over parents. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ryan Yamamoto. Kelsey Thord spoke with one parent who says the message from state Republicans is now starting to really resonate. Ken Liu was born in San Francisco and has lived in the city much of his life. He and his wife had two kids while living in the Sunset District, but when their kids got old enough to go to school, the family decided to move to the suburbs. In San Francisco with the lottery system, you're not guaranteed to go to your closest public school. So in 2019, the family packed up and moved down to Belmont. But then the pandemic hit. We had all the intentions of attending the public school systems down here in Belmont. Uh, heard nothing but great things about them until they all shut down. Ken didn't agree with the district's COVID policies, so he enrolled his kids in a private school that continued to teach in-person classes. And I think that at the early development ages, people need to learn in person. Ken is just one of thousands of parents who not only became more involved in their kids' education during the pandemic, but also became more critical of the public school system after the pandemic. That is why California Republicans are now making education one of their top issues. They believe they can find success at the ballot box by running on platforms focused on giving parents more power over what their kids are taught. You know, parents, they, they want to send their children to school to learn how to read, to learn how to write, to learn mathematics and science. And instead, they're coming back with, um, you know, interesting theories about American democracy, about free speech. Jason Clark is the vice chair of the Bay Area chapter of the California Republican Party. He says just like we're seeing in other parts of the country, parents in California want more of a say when it comes to what their children are doing and learning in the classroom. You had a lot of parents come in the door and say, we want to get involved, but we weren't comfortable with uh, getting involved with the Democrats, so we want to get involved with the Republican Party. We've already seen bills introduced in the state assembly this year dealing with issues involving parents' rights in schools. In March, two Republican lawmakers introduced a controversial bill that would require schools notify parents if their child identifies as transgender at school. That bill generated immediate criticism from Democrats calling the bill anti-LGBTQ. A spokesperson for Equality California told me he believes Republicans are using education as a way to target LGBTQ people. Well, this is nothing new. We know that uh, the right side and, and right wing extremists and conservatives are choosing schools to be a battleground and using children uh, to to have people go against the LGBTQ plus community and disguise it as parental rights. Jason told me he understands the concerns over that specific bill, but when it comes to parental rights as a whole, he says Republicans in California are not looking to target anyone. They're just looking to give parents the tools to become more involved in their child's education. You know, we believe that parents have the right to know what's going on in their children's lives without being kept a secret. But also you have to balance that on making sure that you protect the, the children too. Back at Ken's house, he told me he has no problem with that specific bill. I have no problems with the parents being informed of what's happening with their students in school. Ken says his focus is on giving parents more control over what their students learn and are exposed to at school. Ken thinks of himself more as a conservative than a Republican. And when it comes to issues like education, he wishes more people would focus on the actual policies rather than which political party is backing those policies. We always uh, compare the extremists versus those with the most common sense and very moderate centralist common sense ideas. And I think the biggest things we need is to put like daylight on the educational system so parents can know what's happening so they can support the educational system versus have to go battle it and fight it. Of course, the reality is that a majority of voters in the Bay Area and across California identify as Democrats. But it is that more moderate framing of the issue of education that has California Republicans hopeful they could pull more voters like Ken to their side in 2024.